Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Agva, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing this puppy here while I'm on vacation, the ROG Citra True Wireless ANC Gaming Headset. This puppy right here will cost you $69.99, on sale, off sale, $99.99. And so let's go ahead and get into the details real quick and see what they have to offer us. How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm, I'm doing a video, brother. That's great, <laughs> Are you recording? I'm recording. All right, guys, what this has right here is about, I don't know about the brand. We just need to get some details. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, detail. Low latency uh, uh, wireless audio gaming mode offers greater synchronization of audio with video for competitive gaming. Active noise have ANC active noise cancellation and hybrid ANC technology detects and filters out noise coming from inside and outside the headphones, uh, enabling enabling a immersive audio experience. Also, extensive battery life features a 27 hour battery life with quick charge technology. That means you can go to zero to about 50 in quick time. Um, also it comes with wireless charging. Some of them don't come, but this one does. Wireless technology. A case can be charged uh, conveniently via wireless charging. It has touch controls, simple quick touch controls, enabling rap rapid in-game adjustments. And extensive compatibility includes PC, Macs, PlayStation 5. The one with the PlayStation 5, I don't know because I know you have to have a, um, a Bluetooth transmitter for it to work on the PlayStation 5, if I'm not mistaken. Unless the newer one comes with the um, um, Bluetooth built in and Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. But before we get to the Eagle Eye View, do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to say that again. Please like, share, and subscribe. The more people I get to like, the more people to share deeper in the YouTube algorithm we can get there so the more people can find us here. So without further ado, let's get to the Eagle Eye View. All right, guys, we're in the unboxing. This is my second time doing this, so sorry there's no film and stuff on here because the sound went bonkers on me. So I wanted y'all to get this experience to see what how it comes in the box and what's supposed to be in the box. So sorry guys, couldn't use an unboxing knife, but this is how it looks. This is the main item. Let's go ahead. For the rest of it. Uh, we have the ear tips. We also have USB A to USB C. Uh, I don't know why this is trolling me so much. All right, there we go. Uh, USB A and USB C. Here we go. All uh, right, USB A, USB C. And then we have the books. And today they did not give us any trolling stickers. So there go the books, guys. Move this out the way. Put it out of the way. Here go. The main part. Now, before we open these, I want you to see how they compare in size to some of the other um, wireless earbuds I've unboxed. All right, guys, we have these big behemoths. So these are the open air. You can see how that looks there. So you can see how do we have the sound peats, air fives, and we have these little no names right here. And these are pretty good too, guys. What I'm gonna say, but you can see how how they all look stacked up. You know, they're not. It's not too much. Now, this is the behemoth. We're gonna put Goliath to the side, but your normal sizes. There you go. So it's not no bigger, no smaller than um, what you would normally have in your pocket. So it's not gonna give too much bulk. And I right, guys, we'll go ahead and open them so you can see how they look. So that's how they look. And you see, it has also uh, RGB light on it. Inside. Oh, okay. Hold on. I might have a little bit more RGB on the outside. Okay, there we go. Okay. So there you go. That's how it looks. So compared to others, you can see how the size of them. So they're about the only thing that's going to be different 
is that these are going to be a little longer than these and even these. A little longer. It's a little longer where the microphones go. All right, so let's see this microphone here. Probably noise canceling mic there. Yeah, okay. I look. Yep, it has all the same. So it's pretty decent. And so y'all can know on the back is the USB C. So why don't we go ahead and get it charged up? And then um from there, after we get charged up, we'll go ahead and pair it up and see if there's an app to go with it. Right, we got the big energy cube, because I'm at home today. I can't give, I don't have all my equipment with me. Um, normally I would bring a power a power strip up here so you can see, but we're gonna use this. Now it does say it has quick charge, so we're gonna use, turn around the other way. So there we go, we're gonna use the 22 watt. All right, there we go. It is charging. All right, so what we're doing is you see it, that worked with the wire came with it. We're gonna go ahead and get a USB-C to USB-C and make sure that works as well. All right, as you see, I got the USB-C to USB-C. Okay, this is the 65 watt. Let's see if we can handle it. Sorry for bumping the camera, guys. All right. There we go. So it can handle it. So this is how it looks when it's opening up, guys. All right. So it's charging up. So let's go ahead and get up, finding out where the app is, see if it has the app, and getting it paired up. This is what the app looked like right here. This is the app. So that's all you have to do. We're going to go ahead and open it up, and that's how it looks. So this is how the app looks. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open it up. There you go. So we hit connect. We're gonna let it work its magic. That's so we're gonna hit done because we're gonna go into the app. So there you go. See, it is hooked up. All right, guys, we're into the app. Show you where it is, right here. Oh, so that's how the app look. So we're gonna hit device. And there we go, we're gonna hit that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take them out. So now I've already done the, um, the firmware update, but if you wanna get to the firmware update, you will have to hit that it'll go ahead, it'll check it out, make sure all the firm update. There you go. So I already up, updated the firmware. So you'll see. Now the left earbud only does voice assistant and and um A and C mode switch, tap twice, switch it on, switch it off. Now the right earbud actually does all this. Tap twice, tap and hold for one second, and call play music. Pause music, next content, you know, previous game mode, hold for one second, tap and hold for one second, off and on. So that's what the left, the right, I mean, the right earbud do, the left earbud do. So we're going to go back out, we we'll hit power, and you can see that both of them right now are at 98 and 95%. So it gives you the percentage as well. And we go into the audio, see, you have playback. The sound, adjust your sound. You have flat, virtual, surround sound. You go flat or you can hit with, there you go. RPGs, different types. So we're going to hit OK for that. And then you go bring it up and you have the equalizer. You go ahead, actually, depending on what type you want to hit, you have all that as well. Classic, hip hop, jazz, metal, techno, rock, vocals, and customized. 
hit OK with that. I don't know why it went on classic. We'll take that classic off, put it back on default, hit OK. And then you can also change it if you want. And you can also change it. Go down, have bass boost, turn it on and off. And you also have gaming mode, which you can turn on or off. All right, so that's that's pretty much the app, guys. But what we're going, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know, see how the ANC handles. Get back on here, listen to some music. Well, before I listen to some music, play some games with it. Might get some footage of me playing a little bit of something, and then come back and get my final thoughts. Giving this puppy a break. All right, All right. guys. As you see, I got I got my gaming thing set up, and I'm playing um, Space Marines Two controller. Of course, you can see a little bit. You can see a little bit, guys. But um, right now, um, it's coming out the speakers of the um, laptop. So what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do. We're gonna set it up. All three of these, these two, against this one right here. So we're gonna try out the no names first and see how they sound compared to these two were meant for gaming and this wasn't. So probably a little bit more gaming on your cell phone. But you know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and do this for right now. No, I have um noise I have noise cancellation or don't worry about it. All right. Okay guys, it sounds good. But it is kind of loud, so I'm trying to turn it down. Give me one second. Okay, it was all the way up. So I'm turning it down to about 60%. And right now, it sounds pretty good because I got gaming mode on these. These does have a gaming mode. I have all the gaming modes on. Um, so got all the gaming modes on. So I do have gaming mode on here. See how it sounds. I can hear the steps of the the the, um, the blue Smurf Marine here. This is um, Warhammer Part Two, forty K Part Two. So we interact. So right now it sounds pretty decent. And I don't have noise cancellation on none of them on at the moment because I don't need it. Okay. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good, guys. All right, so I'm going to put this up. Pretty good. These sound pretty good. Sound pretty good. So what we're going to do, we're going to Put on the sound peaks. These sound better. The sound peaks do sound better, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. For gaming, the sound peaks do sound better. Try that one more time with these. See you on the sound piece one more time, guys. Has a better sound profile on the sound piece, guys. So these sound, these sounds better than these. Now these don't sound bad, but the sound piece do sound better. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and try the ROG, see how they sound.
Kaiser it sounds good. Um, with gaming mode on, you can you can hear see a different. I mean, hear a different. I see a difference. Um, these are really made for gaming, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. I can hear everything. People are talking. The footprints in the mud. And normally, I don't play games with with the headsets on. And then it sounds closer when she's talking to your to your head to your um, to your helmet. Pretty decent. All right, guys, we're gonna call that quits. So I give it. Um, well, I'll give you great afterwards. But the only thing is that these sound a lot lower. You have to turn them up. And I don't know if they were made um, because of that. You know, they were made like that or not made like that. I don't know. But um, these two are louder they have a louder sound so you have to turn it up a little bit more um to get to get it the volume up um then you would these two now these two at 50 percent you know of the computer sound well now there was at 60 percent sound sound good but i mean sound loud enough sorry sound loud these two here but this you have to turn it up to about 70. so I don't know why they're sounding low. It could be that's the way they're designed. But as far as clarity and everything, they do sound better. Um, these sound louder. And these are probably the second. The uh, Sound Peak Pros are probably the second. Pretty good. Sound good. But these sound, I'll say, uh, about 20 to 25% better to me. Again, sound is objective. And maybe what I'll do, I'll ask one of my homeboys to see if they can hear a difference, if they like it, if they feel like it. If not, all right, guys, um, see you at the, in the regular view. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Ogfer, a.k.a. Path to Tech, out here at what? What's the call, homie, behind the camera? Lake Murray Dam. Lake Murray Dam. Damn, damn, damn. So we at the dam. South, South Carolina. Carolina. So, guys, one thing I wanted to um, talk to you all about, it's kind of raining out here because we came here at a bad time because of me, is that um, the RG Centra Gaming uh, Wireless Earbuds. Um, I made calls on them. People say they sound great. Um, so the call quality is, is good. The only problem I'm having right now is the ANC. It has three levels of ANC, and I walked around, and it does block out most of the noise, but the, the higher ANC to block out more noise than the lower, uh, you could tell. But now the, um, the pass-through mode where you hear the, the surrounding works pretty well. So I have to give the ANC about a C plus. I, it, I think when you have it on high, it should be able to just knock out a lot of sound, but it doesn't. Now I have a cheap pair of $39 um, earbuds back at the um, place we're staying. And those things are aggressive. It'll block out a, a mouse farting in the wind. You wouldn't even hear ever hear it. So I just want to say that I think overall, these right here are pretty good guys. Um, but I'm gonna give them my grade once we get back to the, the spot, all right? So the ANC is, is decent. It's not going to be the best. It's not the worst. I give it a C, C, a, a C minus C. All right, guys, let's get back to the, um, to the Dumbass out. Peace. Yo, everybody, I'm back with my final thoughts on the ROG Centra Truly Wireless ANC headphones. These things are really decent, guys. They're really decent. So let's go and get into how I feel about them. The fit, I think they fit. I think the fit is a four. Um, fit is pretty good. Um, they, they they slid on my ear maybe one time. We got a little slight, but they do give they do give a good um, a good type of seal in the ear. Um, they did they do come with um, I said dead, but they do come with some other ear tips. So these don't fit. You have, uh, I think, two more that you could try to get a good fit. So the fit for me is a four because they did kind of slip out just a little bit. Um, the, the, um, the finish and design, I do like the design. I do like the design. They're small. They're about, they're about the same size as every other average out there um, from the Sound Peaks, from the, um, you know, from the Google Pixels. Um, they're, they're, uh, and the Samsung, same size. So they're not too big. 
you know, so they fit in your pocket comfortably. So I gave the fit. I mean, I give the finish and design a five. Now, I did two type of sound. I did sound overall, I give a four. And the reason why I say oh, I give it a four because I don't know if they're designed, but they're a little low. I mean, you have to turn it up some extra to get the same volume you would if you use another pair of ears, ear, um, earbuds. So I don't know if that's a flaw or that's a feature. Um, and why I'm saying that because normally, you know, Maybe they don't want that normally, but maybe they just don't want to, you to crack, you know, burst, burst out your eardrums. I don't know. So overall sound quality, um, sound overall, I gave it a four. Now music sounds good. Sounds good, guys. I listen to some music um, and you can hear everything. I give it a four. Um, is above, way above average. So I give it a four. Um, call quality, um, talk to my wife, talk to a couple people on here, and I give the call quality a 3.5. It's a meh, it's okay, it's doable, it's passable. Um, um, the app, I give an app, uh, um, I give an app a 3.5. Um, the app is okay. I, I, I hope that the app was, would be, have been more robust because you can't even control the ANC through the app. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Most of them you can control ANC on and off through the app plus on the um on the um, Bluetooth headset. So I give the app a 3.5. I think it should have been a little bit more, um, a little bit more robust in my, you know, and what I'm thinking. Um, the ANC, I give it a 3.5 as well. You saw um, the, um, the, the part of the video we did outside and it, it does work, but the, when it says, um, it'll say ANC, like, like the maximum ANC, it's like, it, it, it it's not aggressive. It's supposed to be aggressive at high levels, and as you go to the low level, it's supposed to be you know, less less aggressive, but it's not that aggressive. So I give it a 3.5. Now the um, actual uh, pass-through sound when you hear the environment, that works pretty well. Um, when you go A and C low, it is what it is. It, it, it's passable, guys. It's not the best. So I give the A and C a 3.5. Now I give the game and sound, as you see, I give the game and sound, a four. Again, it was a little low. I had to turn it up, but I could hear everything. Even though when you turn it up, you have to turn it up a little higher than most. I still could hear everything. Um, like if 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 the sound peaks were on, you know, level fifty, you have to turn it up to sixty to sixty eight to get the same level of sound. Now, once you turn it up, it's pretty good. You can hear everything. It sounds really good. Now, I did not, you know, do. I don't play on Discord, so I didn't use it for Discord, but um, it could be used for Discord. And so I didn't test that out, but as far as the sound, gaming sound, I give it a four. Um, overall, um, I'm gonna give this a B. I'm gonna give this a four. Um, when you add up all the averages, it came up to about a 3.9, uh, which to me, is, you know, is a four. It's a B. So these are a B guys. They're worth to get for $69.99. Um, they normally go for $100, but I could see myself buying these for $69.99 like I did. Um, they're really good for the gaming. To me, they'll be really good for the gaming. So guys, I give it a B. Um, I would say a, a, a B minus B. So guys, that's all I got for you for the RG Centra True Truly True Wireless ANC Gaming headphones. They are, they they do work. They sound good. I played um, what was the game I was playing? Um, 40k, 40k um, Space Marines 2, and it sound good, guys. So hey, before I go, do me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe. Do me a favor, please. Again, I say please like, share, and subscribe because the more time, the more you share, the more you like, the more thumbs up I get, the deeper in the YouTube algorithm. I go and it'll allow more people to see, um, be a part of this unboxing community. So um, please like, share, describe. Thank you, thank my new current, current and new subscribers for still rocking with your boy. Yet again, this is your boy, the Ghettoographer, AKA Patch Tech. Thank you for rocking out with me on another unboxing video. Guys, we got some more unboxing coming soon. So stay tuned. Please hit the notification icon, wherever it's located on your screen. So you'll be notified anytime we drop a new video. All right, guys, you have a good day. Peace.